Let's yeah. talk about your memory, which is called okay. hyperthymesia. No, it's not called that anymore. Really? Uh, uh, they don't like it. They stopped calling it that. It's called HSAM, highly superior autobiographical memory. That's what they call it from now on. They thought hyperthymesia sounded like a disease, so they don't call it that anymore. It's only called HSAM. And I sing a song about that too. It's kind of fun in the that, show. That makes sense. Because if you Google it, it says, what condition does Marilyn Henner have? I'm like, is this a condition? I'm like- no. It's not a condition. It's a total gift. It's just a wonderful gift that I've had that I was born with. I mean, they've taken 300 measurements of my brain and everybody else who has it. And what's very interesting is that there are 11, well, there were 12, but now there are 11 of us that totally over-indexed in every area of the brain measurements, but we all hang in there together, kind of. Do you know what I mean? So there's nine different spots, 10 times larger than the normal brain on my brain and theirs as well. And so it's definitely something you're born with, but it's not a condition. It's really something completely different. And it's they're, they, they keep, even with the research they're doing, they're trying to figure out, is there, you know, what, what are the similarities they thought? Oh, is it OCD? And we all got tested for OCD. Oh, is it autism? We all got tested for autism. We, you know, they keep testing us for different things. And there's no, it's so random. It's crazy, except these measurements. So. And what percentage, is there 11 people in the whole world or it's what, what percentage? Well, this is the thing, there's a percentile. And so there are like 11 people in the 95 to 99%, but you can't get money for studies only on 11 people. So they sort of said, okay, well, let's open up the percentile a little bit. So wow. I, I, they, you know, testing is ongoing and people drop off or they come back or, you know, whatever, so. So I could say like June 9th, 1980. Uh, okay, June 9th, June 9th, 1980 was a, uh, was a Monday. Wow. I wasn't born in 1980, but June 9th is my birthday. I just picked a oh. year because I figured you would ask me if that was my birthday. And you know, a proper lady doesn't always reveal her age, <laughs> okay. but you can figure, you can say exactly what you can think of exactly what you were doing that day. That's oh yeah. I, wow. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Is this always a blessing or is it ever a curse? You know, people drink. I love my vodka. Sometimes I like to check out of society. Like, is that, is this ever a curse? It's never, I always say it's never a curse for me, but definitely a curse for my husband, which is probably why I'm on my third and final. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it's like so funny because my husband will still say, oh, I said this, or he said that or whatever. And I'll be like, no, Michael. Remember, we were standing in the kitchen. You were wearing your blue and white striped shirt. You were standing by the pantry. I was by the refrigerator. We were saying this to each other. You know, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. Me, I'm all right. You know, things like that. You would have been a great lawyer. Yeah, and f- I, thank you. Yeah, I probably would. I probably would have preferred being a doctor than a lawyer because I love the human body so much and it's so fascinating to me. Um, but yeah, I guess. I guess I would have with my, you know, with my recall. I actually, I've had two, two cases were thrown out because I, they, I was deposed and I was so detailed in what happened that they decided to settle because they said, if we get this girl on the stand, there's no way we're going to win. So they, wow. they changed the case. Yeah. 